Listen, the fact is only 3% of the audience coming into your world as a prospect or lead is converting into a client or customer. Which begs the question, what are you doing to serve the other 97% of people who have come into your world or are on your list? And if you're like most people, unfortunately the answer is nothing. And that means you're leaving more than 97% of the potential revenue or 97% of the potential clients and customers you could serve on the table. What's going on guys, Jay here, and they were talking all about your follow-up process and why it's so important. So to illustrate these concepts, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes, I think for the first time ever on this channel, of our marketing software called GrowthWorks. And don't worry, there's no push to buy GrowthWorks, there's no call to action, no link below, nothing like that. The, the fact is that GrowthWorks is built on proven, fundamental marketing principles that will work for you no matter what you're selling, in what industry you're in, and who you are. They just work. So whether you use GrowthWorks, or whether you take the ideas I'm gonna walk you through today, you're gonna get results with your follow-up process. So let's dive in. What we're talking about here is based on a study Dean Jackson did back in the day, proving that only 3% of prospects coming into your universe are converting into clients and customers. You can see here in an infographic from Chet Holmes, only 3% are ready to make a buying decision and buying now. Six to 7% are open to it, they're kind of on the fence, and the other 90% of people who are coming into your universe are either not thinking about it, don't think they're interested, or definitely know they're not interested. To talk about this, I wanna give you just one geeky marketing term called sales velocity. And sales velocity is the measurement of how quickly a prospective customer moves through a company's sales pipeline and generates revenue. Said in plain English, this is the time it takes between somebody opting in and actually giving your business cash. Now to illustrate this, let's look at one of our campaigns from GrowthWorks, and this is looking at that term sales velocity. So this is measuring the time between somebody opting in and again, giving your business cash. So of course, on day one, there were a lot of sales. Obviously, it's brand new, here's the offer, here's what it is, there's the 3%. But if you look at what's called the long tail here, between days two and day 80, if you added up all the sales that happened here, they'd be significantly greater than just the sales that happened on day one. Which means the fortune truly is in the follow-up. This is where most of the revenue for this campaign came from. It was the follow-up process happening over the next two months. Now, just for a quick review, I made a very simplified version of a marketing funnel here in Keynote to illustrate these ideas. So at the very top of your marketing funnel, of course, you have your opt-in page, and you're using any source you can get access to to send traffic to the opt-in page. So things like Facebook ads, Google and YouTube ads, any organic lists you have, you know, Facebook groups, email newsletters, uh, partnerships, having your mom tell her friends about it, whatever you have access to to get traffic to your opt-in page. From the opt-in page, they're then sent over to a call to action page. And this could be to you know, call to action to purchase your low ticket offer, a call to action to book a call to find out more about your premium offerings. Whatever it is, the, the, the end result is producing happy and satisfied clients and customers, which then generates revenue for your business. As we mentioned at the intro of this video, only 3% of folks are making it all the way through here and converting. So here we're talking about the other 97% how do we follow up with these folks? There's a few ways that we like to follow up and build the relationship. Number one is gonna be our email nurture sequences. This is gonna be providing value. And I'll walk you through a few concrete examples here in a second, but I'll just kind of lay them all out here uh, for now. So we have your email nurture sequence providing value, uh, sending them to other places to you know, your Facebook group, to YouTube channels, to your LinkedIn, wherever you wanna send them, right? And one of the places we send them are to what's called value videos. Now these are on private pages off of YouTube. This is gonna be uh, providing typically some kind of value with a call to action at the end to advance the relationship. We also send them to a few organic channels as examples. We have Facebook groups, Facebook profiles, LinkedIn profiles, Instagram profiles, and of course YouTube, like what you're watching right now. And of course the purpose of all this content and all these channels is to advance the relationship, build that know, like, and trust factor, establish enough credibility to where they feel good about opting in if it's a good fit for them and becoming a client or a customer. Now, of course, you're not gonna recapture all 97% of the potential prospects you had on your list, but if you got just 1% or 2%, that's increasing your ROAS or your return on ad spend, increasing the ROI on the time and cash you're putting out to get in front of these people in the first place. So going back over here to our diagram, let's give you a few concrete examples of this content. And I am gonna go to 
an example here from my friend and fellow marketing nerd, the guy who I'm actually working with GrowthWorks on for the past 18 months is uh, Mr. Aaron Fletcher himself. Now, this framework is from 2015 and I actually used this framework to help start building out one of my first email campaigns for my tattoo education business. It took me weeks and weeks or, or, or months eventually to put it all together to have more than 100 emails following up with folks who opted in for 100 days to advance that relationship. So real quickly, walking through a few uh, examples from his framework, you have problem, promise, proof, ping, and promotion, the five Ps. Problem is describing the pains and frustrations, just having letting them know they're not alone, like they're not the only ones going through this situation. And you're also twisting the knife a little bit, like do you still wanna be sitting in this pain or do you wanna try and find a solution to it? I promise you there's one out there. So building tribe, building community, and showing them they're not alone. This leads to our second P, which is promise. And with any coaching or consulting or even any product, you're taking your, your prospect from point A, where they are right now, to point B, where they're ultimately trying to get to, their ideal state. So the promise content is talking about this ideal state, showing them that like, hey, there is a step-by-step -step process to take you from this pain of where you're at now to where you're trying to get to. And it's not that complicated. Look, you can do this. And leading to our third P, the proof email, people have done this. Like I have done this for myself, for my business. I've taken clients through this. Here's the social proof. Here's the case studies. Here's the testimonials that, hey, this stuff works. Moving on to step number four or the fourth P in the email framework is gonna be the ping email. So generally you think of an email as you blasting communication at someone and it tends to feel a bit one-sided. So with a ping email, you're trying to initiate a back and forth conversation. So a famous example of this is again, Dean Jackson's nine word email where you're saying something like, hey Steve, are you still looking for more coaching clients? J, to try and get a reply. Or, hey Steve, I made this cool new spreadsheet tool just hit reply to this email and I'll send you a copy of it if you want. Jay, I'm trying to get a conversation going back and forth. The fifth P is the promotion type of content. And this is where people kind of fall off or, or sort of burn their list and get a lot of unsubscribes and deletes. It's because all their content they're sending out is promotion content. They're trying to put countdown timers, uh, put that urgency, uh, put that scarcity, and every email is promotional trying to book a call or sell a product or extract cash from their list. And that's where they get burnt out. So in reality, the promotion type of content should be 20% or less. The whole point of all the content we're talking about is to build a relationship. It's the idea of preeminence. It's establishing and providing value in advance before cash ever changes hands. Crazy thought. So <laughs> moving on to our other types of content. Oh, excuse, wait, excuse me. Let me actually walk you through GrowthWorks, how we, how we actually do this in the software. I won't do a full product demo but just walking you through the setup section and showing you how GrowthWorks uses these fundamental principles to output your content automatically. So here is how GrowthWorks looks on the front end. We're actually making a new version of it. It's in the works right now. This is version 2.0, but for now, it looks like this. And you can see on the right-hand side, you have three simple steps to, to give us all your information. So step one is your campaign planner. This is talking about who you're actually going to be serving. So your avatars, your ideal client, all that good stuff. Step number two is the product roadmap. And this is looking at the actual step-by-step -step process. Again, the A to B roadmap that takes your clients from where they are to where they wanna be. So telling growth works like how you do that, what you're gonna call your steps, all that good stuff. And once you've done that, we have everything we need to automatically create all your content for you. So I'm gonna go into product design, but I'm gonna launch a brand new one to show you how it works. This is my absolute favorite one. So launching Design Studio, we've given you a bunch of templates already. And these are fully customizable. So I really like the, the chalkboard one here. Let that load. So now right here at the product roadmap, I have a visual representation of this A to B transformation for my product or service. I also have nine lead magnets or nine sheet sheets made for me automatically. So if I open this up, this already has all the content that I gave GrowthWorks in the first two steps. And of course it's fully customizable. So let's just say for example, I'm gonna change this to the milk farmer Milk Farmer Blueprint, just to be ridiculous. And I can go over here to Customize Template. And what the team, the dev team has recently done is integrated Unsplash into GrowthWorks. So I can use stock images, I can upload my own images to really customize this thing and make it look like nobody else is on the marketplace. Milk Farmer Blueprint, I can also go into my icons here and I can do we have icon, icon Finder integrated as well. So I can actually change all the icons and of course change all the text and stuff here if I choose to. 
Now, with that being said, once this is done, I'm not gonna save that. I now have all three of my steps done, and now I can go into the actual content creation. So creating an asset, I'm gonna launch our follow-up sequence. We call it the Ninja Nurture Sequence. And right there, at the click of a button, since I've done those three steps, I now have 27 emails written for my particular campaign, product, avatar, service, all filled in and ready to go. I spent dozens and dozens of hours writing these emails for you, and the team spent dozens and dozens of hours coding them so they'll work for your particular business. So just opening one up, you can see here, this is an FAQ email, and it's all the FAQs people will ask about your business or your service. Likewise, if I go into this one, you can see this is a process email showing the actual process of your system. Here is a ping email, as we talked about on the 5P framework. This is gonna be a promotion email. So again, you get the point. There's 27 emails or a month of emails ready to go for you at the click of a button. And we got carried away and actually doubled the output. There's two of these. So if you launch the Ninja Nurture and the expansion, there's 54 emails based on that 5P framework ready to go and written for you. That's the first kind of content you see here. Next, we have the value video. And I'm gonna show you this in GrowthWorks, but there's a framework you're gonna see that even if you don't use GrowthWorks, you can base your authority amplifier or your value video on this framework and still have incredible results. So authority amplifier kit, these are written for the, the demo business that I made there. And this is the structure of a short value video. So at the very beginning, you have a promise, what they're gonna get. This is similar to YouTube videos. Hey, watch this video, you're gonna get this by the very end. Then you have proof, just so you know this works. Here's a few examples, some of that social proof we talked about. Then we talk about the problems, all the problems that are associated with this step of your process. And then we have the steps to get around it. Moving on, you have context. This is just one small step of our nine step process or a 10 step process to get you a B result. And finally, at the very end, you have a call to action. This could be, um, again, enrolling in a strategy session, subscribing to that YouTube channel, uh, buying a low ticket product, whatever it is. And that is a value video script. So again, promise, proof, problems, steps to overcome the problems, context, and finally a call to action. Now for organic content, this is somewhat different. So Facebook, this can be Facebook group content, Facebook profile content, Instagram content, YouTube content, any organic content you're putting out there, it's easy to get overwhelmed um, and not know what to write or try to model other people too closely. So the best way I found to do this is going over here to GrowthWorks. And again, if you're not using GrowthWorks, just take the ideas from these headlines and run with them. But I'm gonna go create an asset, go down here to our hooks and headlines. We've created more than 300 hooks and headlines for your product that you can use to model here. So an example here of the currency headline is the $10,000 per day copywriting system used by just a handful of successful whatever avatars you've given us. Uh, the truth, the one truth no one is telling you about weight loss, copywriting, divorce, whatever your, your market is. And this is a five guys post you always see on social media. So looking for five marketing agency owners, course creators, and business coaches to test this new copywriting strategy. So if you were savvy, you could take one of these ideas. Let's just say, um, how would you like to install my proven? No, that's a call to action. Let's do the $10,000 per day copywriting system used by a handful of marketing agency owners. I could take that one concept and go back to our authority amplifier script that you saw in the, the last step and put those together and just do the promise, the proof, the process and break it down, just having that one idea from that headline at the very top. So that is it. That, this, this is a brief nutshell of the follow-up process. Hopefully you got some value out of there. Again, if you're a GrowthWorks user or not, you can take the concepts I showed you and put a follow-up process in place. Don't get overwhelmed thinking you have to have 100 days of emails right out of the gate. Have one, have two, have three, and build on it incrementally over time. One is better than none, I, I, I promise you. So that's it for this video, you guys. Uh, if you get any value from this whatsoever, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And let me know what you wanna see in the next one. I'll see you next week.